another stark reminder that COVID-19 knows no boundary when a Malaysian princess shared about how she and the royal family dealt with their anxieties over the virus. Tengku Putri Raja Tengku Putri Iman Afzan Al Sultan Abdullah, who is the king's eldest daughter, said there was much fear when the movement control order was in full swing starting March. I think that it, I really underestimated the how important and how severe this pandemic was. I mean, in the beginning, I've said many times, I kind of took it lightly. I, I thought it would, it would be something that passes. You know, you hear of diseases, and sometimes it's just a, you know, they. It's a quick, there's a quick solution, you know, but over time it just got worse and worse and then the, the March 18th, that lockdown, I think it took me by surprise. My anxiety was at its worst, I think, in, in, during this, definitely. Bad health anxiety, uh, thought I had COVID every day, you know, just constantly on, the, on edge. I lost weight as well, like, because I was just so in a, in a state, you know, state of anxiousness. As much as it wasn't the best situation, I'm thankful that I, I got to learn more about what I have, right. you know, my anxiety and to, maybe me learning more about what I have could also mean that I could help others more. In fact, the young Dipertuan Agong Al-Sultan Abdullah Riayatuddin Al-Mustafa Bilah Shah and the Raja Permaisuri Agong Tunku Haja Aziza Aminah Maimunah Iskandaria went through self-quarantine in late March after seven Istana Negara staff were infected. Tengku Putri Iman Afzan said the situation caught them by surprise and the palace was worried about it. Uh, it of course took us by surprise. We were all very anxious, I think. And for a while, actually, um, we couldn't see each other. each other. And when we finally could, we were sat, you know, the table. I still don't sit. Actually, we're still uh, social distance to this day, until today. So my father will sit at the head of the table and, and we're all like, at least a meter, yeah. The quarantine episode sent out a grim reminder to the palace that COVID-19 knows no boundaries. Tengku Putri Iman Afzan said the experience has helped her understand the stigma that comes with COVID-19. I feel like there's such a stigma to those who do have to have contracted the virus, which I feel is so terrible. You know, most a lot of the time they're they're ridiculed, they're they're bullied, but they didn't want to contract the virus. And you know, after they have after they're still they're tested negative, they're still you know stigmatized. So I feel like this is a issue that the mental health community are familiar with that they've stigmatized and you know if you have depression you're you're not you're not strong or you know so i think this is how we can link covid and mental health issues that the stigma is there it's real asked about the advantages and disadvantages of having a royal title to her name the guputri iman afzan said she was fortunate and blessed to be in such a position i think that those who are in such a position should do their best to help as many people as possible. If you have a platform where you can help people, do it. Uh, the disadvantages are that um, you don't get as much privacy as you'd like. Uh, I don't know, I think there are more advantages to disadvantages being in my position. The princess' hope for Malaysians is that the people remain empathetic, kind and supportive of one another.